once they enter the job market. I want young people to have a particular skill forever. That is the right attitude. So three skills, it's attitude, attitude and attitude. And it has to be the learning and the correct type of attitude. We need to create workplaces or work environments that accept gender and cultural diversity. We need to have environments where we're accepting of everyone. So, uh, for example, at my organization, what we've done is we don't have a lot of work during the daytime because we work with the US, it's a big deal. So what we've done is whatever processing work, the extra and the excess processing work that we have for nighttime, um, the night shift, we've moved most of the processing work to, work to the day shift at uh, Nikunjo, Ratchei and our Dhanmundi offices so that we can hire women. While I don't want to say that we don't hire women at the night shift, but you know, Dhaka is not an easy place to commute in. So, it, especially at night, I cannot ensure safety outside my office for each and every employee. So, for women, it becomes difficult. So that's why what we've done is we've adjusted our shift for women to the daytime. So that's our effort in promoting diversity and uh, the workplace for women. So I'm hoping all organizations start embracing such steps. Very important because today what we realized was there's, it's not just the BPO industry that is an employer. There are banks, there are telcos, there are pro FMCGs, there are multinationals that are hiring. So in order to come to a common skills base or at least set a benchmark for employable skills, we need to work together so that we can facilitate private-public partnerships and come up with, uh, with training people to be at par with the environment with neighboring countries so that we can hire people to do the value added jobs.